Hi guys, happy new year to you. Okay, the programmer never sleep, and we are here to learn a new thing. Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, Bluetooth navigation view. These things below here. Okay, and how to use slides. Okay, so our page of slides, and it change with the or oh, and it is connected with the our boat navigation view here okay so I already have created a project project to show to you okay this is a a very simple project is an empty project flutter app okay with the grand primary swatch with the flutter sample as my own page title and my own page I receive a title that we use here okay like the app bar title so we are going to we are going to work with with our state okay with her home page state So what we are going to do first? Firstly, we need to have our tabs ready, okay? So according to each item here, we need to have a unique view, okay, in our container, okay? So I'm going to have my tabs, my tab is right here, okay? It is a list. Just going back. So I'm going to to have uh, my tabs here, like uh, list. Sorry, skateboard is crazy. A list of widget. Okay. I will call that tabs okay tab list like this one and this is equals to so here when we we will set our tabs okay for each item okay And uh, we have it, our app bar here and the body. So I will going to add my button navigation right here. Okay. So button navigation. Boot navigation bar. Okay. Okay. This is the current state of our app. Okay. We are in this here and so setting up our boat navigation bar and okay boat navigation bar will create a button navigation bar okay this request us to set up the items we have our last list of items right here just call it like that oh sorry this is our tab list okay we need here uh, a list of items to our button navigation bar i was just confused okay so my first item is a button navigation bar item okay I will give give it a title like home whatever and the icon 
uh, we'll set the home icon okay just show okay we need we need to have and we should have at least uh, two items okay that's why I I know I'm not I'm not going to use the auto reload right now just one more item uh, home uh, I will call the random names to it okay uh, file I have a folder to this icon so if I use the auto reload uh, okay we have set up our boot navigation I'm going to add one more item okay navigation bar item Uh, title is a test widget and I will, I will call it settings okay and an icon okay now we have three items in our button navigation view okay navigation bar sorry is most likely the same thing so next we need to listen whether we click on that on each icon we need to handle the index okay the current index so the boot navigation bar have the on tap on tap method that receive uh, the current index as a part that give us the current index as a parameter okay so i'm going to have here uh, the we need to save the index okay as the user tab on the items okay so need just set it up like zero current index so uh, when the user tap here we need to update this this field so current index is equal, equals to current index okay so here we need to we need to have we need to update the content here, okay? The content. So our button navigation is ready. Next, uh, we need to set up our container here, okay? So in my body, in my body, uh, I need the page oh sorry page not it is, it is the tab at this it is the tab bar view okay just delete this this, this receive two parameters okay the controller okay I will call it a uh, tab controller so this tab controller uh, e, it is it is the it is the field that we we that we use to update and to change the content here okay so I need to initialize it in 
init state okay to my tab controller equals to tab controller okay Uh, okay, and the tab controller constructor need to need two fields. Okay, the first is the length, and the second is this v sync v sync. Okay, the length is the is to tell the tab view tab bar view how many items will we are going to have in the our in our control container okay so i will just give you the my tab list okay tab list dot length oh, sorry i need to to pass the parameter name and the verse sync I will use this just to remember the verse sync is the type provider so I will extend it like width mm. uh, okay I will do, I will use the single tick provider state mixing okay and we need to dispose our tab controller so tab controller just called the dispose okay can close these two functions sorry Next, uh, we need to pass a children, okay? The children is is a list, okay? Is a list of widgets to show here. So I will give it a children. I will give my list right here, okay? Just it is it is just because I don't want to create our tabs okay in this in this place so okay we have almost done uh, just thing is to add the our tab items okay so I will the container. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, sorry I need to add uh, the to add our center our tabs right here okay so I need to create it actual child text and use like this one container and the next here Okay, so we we have uh, our our tabs. Okay, just the text style uh, just to increase the size to this and style. 
whatever so okay I think it's much better okay so we have our tabs right here and uh, controller the tabs list and okay we need I will up uh, I will do the auto reload so that you can see the changes okay we have a um, hero okay it's giving an error so we need to have to do uh, a restart okay that's because we we stays instantiated the our tab controller in the in init state and the auto reload don't doesn't don't call the init state again okay so just uh, a few seconds so what we need to do here here we need to change or we need to update the current tab okay according on the boat navigation items click okay it's very simple uh, think that you will get it so here we call the set state okay okay it's taking too much set state uh, And I will place uh, these two lines right here. Just updating. Oops, sorry. I will get, get it back. So here we need to we need to update the tabs. Okay. So in set state. Uh, we update the current index and we are going to use the tab controller okay to do that change for us okay so yeah, it's taking too much time so we use tab controller animate to and we can just pass the value okay that is our current index And that's it. Really? So with this we we have done how the work, okay? So how our app should work fine with no problems, okay? what we did is uh, we created a list of tabs okay 
to show in our container okay according to the button navigation click and we have the tab controller that we initialized in the init state and we dispose it and dispose 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 of the our state page then we created the tab bar view we give the controller the list of tabs okay so we, when we call the animated tool uh, flutter go to this list of tabs and show the the children okay the widget in the in the desired position so when we give that position they go to our list and pick okay pick one on that position and show it in the screen oh we need to restart this okay we can also animate the the transaction okay we can animate the transaction uh, the topic for another video just want to show that everything is working fine I don't know why Gradlist is taking too much time. Please don't for, don't forget to see the description of this video. I will leave the link of that code on GitHub, okay? So that you can get all these these lines to you. Please, please, Oh, really? My God. Okay, uh, we we'll get we we we'll get the change. Okay, so you can see that uh, our first item is is this. Okay, that's shown in the screen. So if I slide this, it will pass to the next to the next container. Okay, and to the next container. But if I click, 
you will not you will note that uh, the the widget are not displayed on the screen so yeah uh, I will try to defer this um, color colors purple and replace this to a container uh, any color to this I want teal here okay and we can remove that and see the change out there so we have two things here okay we need to update the, this the select the position okay i think that i'm missing something uh, okay i need to to pass the current index okay in the bottom navigation bar okay i think that i forgot to do this so i need to pass the current index here make this a new update Okay, 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 that's right. So, need to test uh, the change, change. Hi, my build is taking too much time. I'm sorry about that. Ah, it's very strange, man.
and okay so we can we can not the change uh, we're going to click on the on the item tool okay and you can see that it is changing how the how the content okay so I need to to update this on the set state okay we need to update the current index and the set state so that it updates our both navigation bar current index and we'll change the selected item here so you see now that it is changing all the content right there so guys thank you for watching sorry about spending more time a lot of time to you uh, i having trouble with this computer maybe i should increase the ram memory maybe maybe okay so thank you for watching leave you you like okay in this video help me uh leave also leave your comments below okay